Welcome to Medical Terminology, Language of Medicine, Chapter 1. The information in this video is credited to Davi Ellen Chabner, the author of the book, The Language of Medicine, Wikipedia, and many other sources. Chapter 1 is about basic word structure. In this chapter, the goals are, identify basic objectives to guide your study of the medical language. Divide medical words into their component parts. Learn the meanings of basic combining forms, prefixes, and suffixes of the medical language. And, use these combining forms, suffixes, and prefixes to build medical words. The objective in studying the medical language. Analyze words by dividing them into component parts. Relate the medical terms to the structure and function of the human body. And, be aware of spelling and pronunciation problems. Some medical terms are pronounced alike but are spelled differently, which accounts for their different meanings. For example, ilium and ilium have identical pronunciations, but the first term, ilium, means a part of the hip bone, red arrow. Ilium, the second term, refers to a part of the small intestine, blue arrow. Other terms that commonly get mixed up are urethra in the blue arrow and ureter in the red arrow. Word analysis is the Studying medical terminology is very similar to learning a new language. At first, the words seem strange and complicated, although they may stand for commonly known disorders and terms. For example, cephalgia means headache, and an ophthalmologist is an eye doctor. The first job of learning the language of medicine is to understand how to divide words into their component parts. Logically, most terms, whether complex or simple, can be broken down into basic parts and then understood. For example, the word hematology is divided into three parts. The three parts are root, combining vowel and suffix. Hemat means blood. And logi means process of study. Important elements. Root, foundation of the word. Suffix, word ending. Prefix, small part attached to the beginning of a term. Combining vowel, vowel, usually o, that links the root to the suffix or the root to another root. And combining form, root plus combining vowel. It is useful to read the meaning of the medical terms starting from the suffix and then going back to the beginning of the term. Thus, the term hematology means the process of studying of blood. Let's try another word, electrocardiogram. Elector is a root, means electricity. Cardi is another root, means heart. O's are combining vowels. And gram is a suffix, means record. Electrocardiogram, reading from the suffix back to the beginning of the term, means record of the electricity in the heart. Notice that there are two combining vowels, both O, in red color above. The first O links the two roots elector and cardi, the second O links the root cardi and the suffix gram. Let's analyze, gastritis. Gaster is the root, means stomach. And itis is the suffix, means inflammation. Please note, drop combining vowel when suffix starts with a vowel, as in itis. Again, gastritis, reading from the end of the term, suffix, to the beginning, means inflammation of the stomach. And, note that the combining vowel, o, is missing in the term. This is because the suffix itis, begins with a vowel. The combining vowel is dropped before the suffix that begins with a vowel. However, it is retained between two roots, even if the second root begins with a vowel. Let's do a quick quiz for fun. All medical terms have a, a combining vowel, b, two roots, c, a suffix, d, a prefix. The answer is c, a suffix. All medical terms have a suffix. You have not learned this yet but let's try for fun anyway. Which element appears at the beginning of a medical term? a suffix, b prefix, c combining vowel, D combining form. The answer is B. Prefix. Okay, let's do some more word analysis. Gastroenterology. Gaster is the root, means stomach. Enter is also a root, means intestines. O's are combining vowels. And, logi means the process of study. Putting these together, gastroenterology means the process of studying of the stomach and intestines. Please note, the combining vowel is retained between gastro and enter, even though the second root, enter, begins with a vowel. When a term contains two or more roots related to parts of the body, 
anatomic position often determines which root goes before the other. For example, the stomach receives food first, before the small intestine, so the word is formed as gastroenterology, not entergastrology. Remember these three general rules. Read the meaning of medical terms from the suffix back to the beginning of the term and across. Drop the combining vowel, usually o, before a suffix beginning with a vowel, gastritis not gastroitis. And, keep the combining vowel between two roots, gastroenterology not gastroenterology. You now have learned the root, combining vowel, and suffix, as you are familiar with these terms. Hemato, means blood. Gastro, means stomach. And cardio, means heart. Let's learn the prefix next. The prefix is a small part attached to the beginning of a term. Not all medical terms contain prefixes, but the prefix can have an important influence on the meaning. Consider the following examples, hypogastric. Hypo, means below. Gaster, means stomach. Ik, means pertaining to. This word means, pertaining to below the stomach. Next example is, epigastric. Epi, means above. Gaster, means stomach. And again, ek, means pertaining to. This word means, pertaining to above the stomach. Quick summary of word analysis. The important element of medical terms are the following, root, foundation of the term. Suffix, word ending. Prefix, word beginning. Combining vowel, vowel, usually o, that links the root to the suffix or the root to another root. And, combining form, combination of the root and the combining vowel. Since you have mastered the components of medical terminology. Now, let's get serious. We are going to learn so many terms that your head will spin. These are the combining forms. Adeno, means gland. Adenoma means, tumor of the gland. The suffix oma, means tumor or mass. Adeno, means gland. Adenitis means, inflammation of a gland. The suffix itis means inflammation. Arthro, means joint. Arthritis means, inflammation of the joint. Bio, means life. Biology means, the study of life or living organisms. Carcino, means cancerous or cancer. Carcinoma means, cancerous tumor. Carcinoma is cancer that forms in epithelial tissue such as basal cell carcinoma, or esophageal carcinoma. Cardio, means heart. Cardiology means, the study of the heart. Cephalo, means head. Cephalic means, of, in, pertaining or relating to the head. Speaking of the head, take a look at the cerebrum and its functions. Cerebrum, is the largest part of the brain. It is divided into two hemispheres, or halves, called the cerebral hemispheres. Areas within the cerebrum control muscle functions and also control speech, thought, emotions, reading, writing, and learning. Let's test your knowledge. Which term means inflammation of the gland? A. Arthritis. B. Adenitis. C. Adenoma. Or D. Cephalic. The answer is, B. Adenitis. Adeno, means gland. And, itis means inflammation. Let's continue with the combining forms. Cephalo, means, head. Cerebro, means, cerebrum, as you just saw in the previous picture. Ciso, means, to cut. Crino, means, to secrete, to come out, such as, a certain gland or glands. Cisto, means, urinary bladder. Cyto, means, cell. Dermo or dermat, means, skin. Electro, means, electricity. Encephalo, means, brain. And entero means intestines. Quiz time, again. Which term means study of cells? A. Cystoscopy. B. Cystitis. C. Cytology. D. Hematology. The answer is, C. Cytology. Cyto means cell. Logi, means studying of. 
Didn't I promise you that your head will spin? Let's do some more. Erythro, means, red. Gastro, means, stomach. Glyco, means, sugar. Noso, means, knowledge. Gynaco, means, woman, female. Hemato or hemo, means, blood. This is histology of the red blood cells, white blood cells, and thrombocytes which are platelets. Moving on. Hepato, means, liver. Iatro, means, treatment, physician. Leuco, means, white, such as leukocyte is in the image that we just saw. Logo, means, study of. Nephro, means, kidney. Neuro, means, nerve. A medical doctor who diagnoses, treats and manages disorders of the brain and nervous system, brain, spinal cord and nerves, is called? Neurologist. Let's continue. Onco, means, tumor. Ophthalmo, means, eye. Osteo, means, bone. Patho, means, disease. Tito, means, child. Psycho, means, mind. Radio, means, x-rays. Reno, means, kidney. Rhino, means, nose. Sarco, means, flesh. Secto, means, to cut. Thrombo, means, clot or clotting. Euro, means, urinary tract, urine. AC and L mean pertaining to. Alja means pain. Site means cell. Ectomy means excision or removal. This one is too easy for you. Which suffix means to cut out or remove? A. Ectomy. B. Scopy. C. Itis. D. Opsy. The answer is, A. Ectomy. We just learned in the previous slide. I am sorry. Just a bit more. You are almost done. Emia, means, blood condition. For example, leukemia. Genic, means, produced by or in. Globin, means, protein. Grim means record. Ik or ical means pertaining to. Ion means process. Ist means specialist. Itis means inflammation. Logi means Process of study. Oma means tumor, mass, or swelling. The top picture portrays the hematomas under the nail and from the broken ribs. The bottom picture shows a sarcoma of the muscles. About 20 more terms and you are done with suffixes. Opsy means process of viewing. Osis means condition, usually abnormal. Pathy, means, disease condition. 
Scope means instrument to visually examine. Scopy means process of visually examining. Cis means state of condition. Tomi means process of cutting, incision. E means process, condition. Done with suffixes. Now, let's learn the prefixes. A or M means no, not, or without. Out or auto means self, own. Dia means complete or through. End, endo means within. Epi means above, upon. X exo means out, outside of, or outward. Hyper means excessive, above, more than normal. Hypo means deficient, below, under, less than normal. In means into or in. Piri means surrounding, around. Pro means before or forward. Re means back, backward, or again. Retro means behind. Sub means below or under. Trans means across or through. Let's learn some specialists for chapter 1. Who knows one of you will be one of these specialists someday. Don't forget me when you become one. Cardiologist, an internal medicine specialist who takes additional fellowship training in the diagnosis and treatment of heart diseases. Gynecologist, specializes in surgery and internal medicine to diagnose and treat disorders of the female reproductive system. Psychiatrist, is a specialist in diagnosing and treating mental illness. Oncologist, an internal medicine specialist who takes fellowship training in the diagnosis and medical, drug, treatment of cancer. Hematologist, an internal medicine specialist who takes fellowship training in blood disorders. These two usually go together. We call them, hemonc doctor. Ophthalmologist, trains in both surgery and internal medicine in order to diagnose and treat disorders of the eye. Neurologist, an internal medicine specialist who takes fellowship training in the diagnosis and treatment of disorders or nervous tissue, brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Nephrologist, an internal medicine specialist who takes fellowship training in the diagnosis and medical treatment of kidney disease. A nephrologist does not perform surgery on the urinary tract but treats kidney disease with drugs. Gastroenterologist, an internal medicine specialist who takes fellowship training in diagnosis and treatment of disorders of the gastrointestinal tracts. Urologist, a surgeon who operates on organs of the urinary tract and the male reproductive system, such as the prostate gland. Urologists also prescribe drugs for some conditions. The pronunciations of these terms are important. I will have a separate video showing you how to pronounce all the terms in Chapter 1. The pronunciations of these terms are important. I will have a separate video showing you how to pronoun these terms. There are many of these pages and exercises in your book. Please complete all of them. Learning a new language is not easy. Practice makes perfect. The answers and exercises are at the end of the chapter. Please do your homework. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.